Welcome back to Cape Chronicle, I'm Alex Gasser. Vintage Now organization is hard at work putting together their October fashion show, Empower Journey to the Future. Here to share some details about it are Jeannie Muckerman and Jesse Green. Jeannie and Jesse, thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for having thank us. You. It's really yeah. exciting to be here and to talk about this awesome event. We're really excited. We've been working really hard and our community is so amazing and supportive and this is just exemplification of our community at work for a really awesome cause. Awesome. So tell me, what, what exactly is Vintage Now? What is this event? <laughs> well, if you haven't heard about Vintage Now before, uh, fifth, this actually is our 15th year of oh, producing wow. this show. So it's been really remarkable to see the growth of that. It's a fundraiser to benefit the Safe House of Southeast Missouri. And when we started, it was at the old Buckner's building with 300 people at max capacity. And now we are literally packing out the, the Show Me Center. And um, it's just been really wonderful to see the way that the community community has surrounded this event, has been enthusiastic about it. Um, it's so much more than a fashion show and we try to reiterate that because while it is a fun night, the goal of this show is to raise awareness about the work that's happening at our local safe house and to let people know that there is hope and help for them. And so um, this event has put a really beautiful package on something that's pretty hard to deal with and impacts a lot of people. And so uh, the team of professionals, professional volunteers who have worked to create this event and make it something special um, has been pretty remarkable. We're excited about this year's event. Um, we've done lots of different themes, um, but this year we are going to move into the future. And so uh, it's always kind of difficult when you have a long-standing fundraiser of like, how do you come up with fresh new ideas? How do you get people excited about your event? But fortunately, with the support of our generous donors, media sponsors, um, people from the community, businesses, and survivors themselves, it has helped to grow and expand, and we are just really looking forward to an awesome night. Awesome. So, who who can come to this event? Like, is it for all ages or? Yeah, that's a really great question. So, it is held at the Show Me Center. Um, you can bring children, but we don't really recommend small children just because it can be kind of a long evening for them and we really want you to be able to enjoy yourself. And so kind of what you can expect is to see from beginning to end, we're gonna open the doors at 6.30 and then the show time is actually at 7.30. So you can have a reserve ticket, you can have general admission seating, um, but it's really most ideal for probably gather a group of friends or a group of couples. And uh, what you can expect to see that night is a really awesome runway show, but we have a tremendous performance cast that has uh, dancing numbers, and I happen to know, Alex, you're also involved in the show <laughs> this year, so we can't, ex we can't wait to see you on the runway. Um, I retired from runway, but I really love that experience, and it's um, not like a traditional runway show where it's like slow and walk. You get to really um, embrace the energy of the crowd and their enthusiasm too, and just see lots of creative things. It's just a really fun evening out, but then knowing that even just a singular ticket purchase makes the difference in the life of the survivor and the ability for the programs to continue to operate. And that's really what we're aiming to do is have a world with less violence. And prevention efforts and the, the advocacy work that happens after so that we can break some of those patterns um, is really what it's all about. So by purchasing a ticket, a sponsorship, sharing our post on Facebook, allowing us to post uh, our poster at your business, we have counter cards so you can help us get the word out. So there's a variety of ways that people can get plugged in and, and be a part of this overall mission because it is so much more than a fashion show. So are tickets and sponsorships still available? We do. Yes. <laughs> you can go to um, vintagenow.org for those. Um, we still have just a handful of gallery tables. So if you want that table, get it right now. <laughs> um, and then um, we still have plenty of general admission. Uh, we will sell those uh, in advance up until about noon on Friday. And then they go up in price. So you want to get them ahead of time. And don't, don't wait till, don't get them at the door. Just, just get them ahead of time. Get that seat. Yeah, you can show up and start having fun right away then. <laughs> awesome. And when is, the, when is the event? Oh, my gosh. So it's yeah. October the 12th. <laughs> Helpful information. Yeah. yeah so October 12th, uh, Saturday, October the 12th, we're going to open the doors at 630. And like I said, the show time is at 730. And um, we don't serve any food at the event. So plan to eat ahead, um, which is a great opportunity to support a downtown local business or another Cape business. Um, make a fun evening of it. And then it's nonstop entertainment from the time that the show kicks off and um, 
we just are really proud and thankful for all the people who have continued to be long-standing supporters, but we're always looking for new donors, new folks that are willing to uh, get engaged, including volunteers. Yes. So volunteers, again, vintagenow.org. We've got a whole forum for that, but um, we still have some spots for those. Um, always need hostesses and ticket takers. Um, if you're great at blowing up balloons, um, <laughs> come on down. Um, yeah. um, there, there's a lot that goes into the, the setup and teardown, and so every single person that's involved is, is so special and so valued. And, yeah, we're just so excited to have every single body, and that's, it's hundreds of people that makes this happen. Um, and I, so I personally, I work for the Safe House, so I get to see the magic that is vintage now and the, the work that happens afterwards. Oh, awesome. And so um, from an agency perspective, we're so appreciative of, of this show and of our director, Deb Mavers, and just the creative genius that that woman is. Um, yeah. And um, just all the work goes into it that, that allows us to do the, the work and the advocacy afterwards is, is very special. So I know some people dress in theme to um, the show, yes. and so can you explain a little bit more about what this this year's theme is? So we have some really great inspiration posts if you want to take a look on Facebook to get more of like a visual representation, but we are thinking about the future, and so maybe you're going to see some things you've never seen before. It's a collection of odd things and steampunk and, um, gosh, what kind am I missing? Kind of a, like post-apocalyptic maybe, um, so think like Dune and that kind of thing, or maybe you want to go Star Wars. Um, if, you, if you're a sci-fi person, like, do yes. it. Come on, Darth Vader, let's well, go. And I'm really glad that you asked that question, but the whole thing is show up as you are. Whatever mm -hmm. makes you feel comfortable, because that's another wonderful thing about Vintage Now, is just that there is no prototype for what a supporter of Vintage Now looks like, does, contributes. Um, everybody brings their individual experience to make this a really magical night. And then I do think that that's really cool that in this diversified world that we live in, having a community event that you can draw back to and say I was a part of that really just as another layer of connection in our community so um, you just can't go wrong whether you want to dress up dress down dress on theme you literally can't go wrong just get there buy the ticket come <laughs> come have fun with us <laughs> all right so tell me that date again and then where to go to get tickets or volunteer yes. okay um, October 12th at the show me center get your tickets get your sponsorship info your volunteer info anything from vintagenow.org yeah Awesome. I'm, I know I'm so looking forward to it and it is such a wonderful event um, and really just it's so amazing for everyone to be involved with and um, again this is my second year walking and I'm very excited so um, if you haven't attended I know that it's it really is an empowering event for so many people out in the community. Most definitely and just from that perspective of what happens afterwards there sometimes by someone coming to the Vintage Now and like being exposed to information from the safe house it like puts a light on about oh my gosh maybe I need to consider what my relationship looks like, or maybe I can learn ways to support my sister who I know is going through this and that sort of thing. So sometimes this could be the first time that someone's even experiencing or hearing about Safe House, and so um, they do a ton of advocacy work and outreach in our community. It makes a tremendous difference, and we just, um, the more people that we can get plugged in, that's what we want. We want you there um, to take part, but then also to take the work of the Safe House and that mission of awareness out into our community too.